A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. The Church celebrates today the, solid, the Feast of St. Maximilian Kolbe, priest and martyr. Our Mass presider today is Rev. Father Dondon de Guzman, SBD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. Sense. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, the Universal Church celebrates the memorial of St. Maximilian Mary Kolbe, priest and martyr. He was a Polish Catholic priest and conventual Franciscan friar who volunteered himself to die in place of a father who has a wife and children. His number in the German death camp of Auschwitz during the World War II was 16670. He was canonized by St. John Paul II on October 10, 1982 and declared him as the patron saint of our Catholic of our difficult century. The Catholic Church also venerates him as the patron saint of amateur radio operators, drug addicts, political prisoners, and journalists. According to him, let us remember that love lives through sacrifice and is nourished by giving. Without sacrifice, there is no love. For times we are indifferent and not sacrificing at all times, let us call into mind our sins and failures. Let us ask for God's mercy and pardon to be more worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Together, I confess, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to and you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I, have I have done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do. Through my, my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, ask Blessed, Blessed Mary, Mary ever, ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my brothers and sisters, sisters, to pray for me to the Lord, to the Lord our, our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who filled the priest and martyr, Saint Maximilian Kolbe, with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for her souls and love of neighbor. Graciously grant through his intercession that is striving for your glory by eagerly serving them, we may be confirmed even until death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem and addressed them, saying, Fear the Lord and serve him completely and sincerely. Cast out the gods your fathers served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. If it does not please you to serve the Lord, Decide today whom you will serve. The gods your fathers served beyond the river 
or the gods of the Amorites in whose country you are dwelling. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. But the people answered, Far be it from us to forsake the Lord for the service of other gods, for it was the Lord our God who brought us and our, fa and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, out of a state of slavery. He performed those great miracles before our very eyes and protected us along our entire journey and among all the peoples through whom we passed. At our approach, the Lord drove out all the peoples, including the Amorites who dwelt in the land. Therefore, we also will serve the Lord, for He is our God. Joshua, in turn, said to the people, You may not be able to serve the Lord, for He is a holy God. He is a jealous God who will not forgive your transgressions or your sins. If, after the good He has done for you, you forsake the Lord and serve strange gods, He will do evil to you and destroy you. But the people answered Joshua, We will serve the Lord. Joshua therefore said to the people, You are your own witnesses that you have chosen to serve the Lord. They replied, We are indeed. Joshua continued, Now therefore put away the strange gods that are among you, and turn your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. Then the people promised Joshua, We will serve the Lord our God and obey his voice. So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day, and made statutes and ordinances for them at Shechem, which he recorded in the book of the law of God. Then he took a large stone and set it up under the oak that was in the sanctuary of the Lord. And Joshua said to all the people, This stone shall be our witness, for it has heard all the words which the Lord spoke to us. It shall be a witness against you. Should you wish to deny our God? Then Joshua dismissed the people, people each to his own heritage. After these events, Joshua, son of Nun, servant of the Lord, died at the age of a, a hundred and ten. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God. For in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord, are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup? You it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the lights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord.
children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Let the children come to me and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After he placed his hands on them, he went away. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Loving children of God, are you bringing the children to Jesus or rejecting and stopping them? What kind of attitude do you have for children? Are you kind and have a welcoming heart to them? Blessed Saturday morning and happy feast day of St. Maximilian Kolbe. Children are said to be God's greatest gift to humanity. These are the world's most valuable resources and its best hope for the future. They are our greatest treasure, our greatest blessing. Our Gospel for today speaks about children and being childlike. It is just three verses yet full of messages. First, children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. But the disciples rebuke, hindered the people. I believe good parents would have want Jesus to bless their children, no matter who they thought Jesus would be. And this is just a normal activity, isn't it? However, in the Jewish society, Children had no social standing, had no rights at all. They were like women who were treated as second-class citizens and not being counted. Furthermore, in the case of disciples, it is neither they did not see the blessing of children as an urgent need in comparison with the healing of the sick. So they rebuked the parents in bringing their children, or they have forgotten what Jesus had taught them about kingdom greatness. Hence, they are acting contrary to what they have been taught. Second, Jesus said, let the children come to me and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Jesus corrected the disciples and allowed the people to continue to bring the children to him. Wag silang hadlangan sa paglapit sa akin. And Jesus turns the worldly logic upside down. Biniligtad po niya ang lahat. For Jesus, no one is deemed unimportant in the kingdom of heaven. Everyone is significant. Everyone is important in God's sight, no matter who you are, whatever you are. And those who are treated least in the eyes of the world are the greatest of all in the kingdom of heaven. Who are treated least in the eyes of the world are the greatest of all in the kingdom of heaven. Third, Jesus laid his hands on children and went on his way. This is the most moving scenes in the gospel, and people were amazed of what Jesus did. He welcomes the children and blesses them wholeheartedly. He comes to them individually that he might touch them with his healing love and power. He also proclaims that the kingdom of God belongs to them and those who are childlike. This reminds us that children, the weaker people, the little ones, are the more they require our care, our love, our attention and support. They are the most vulnerable, defenseless, and helpless human beings. 
So what is Jesus trying to teach us? What can we learn from the attitudes of the children? Why Jesus embraced them so much? Children are our greatest teachers. From them, we can learn some of life's valuable qualities. We have simplicity, humility, authentic, joy, kindness, trust. And most of all, they teach us what it means to love and be loved unconditionally. They teach us what it means to love and be loved unconditionally. These are the attitudes and qualities worthy of emulation. These should be imitated, duplicated, and not forgotten by most of us. We should not lose the childlike attitudes in us. In this difficult time, children are one of the most affected by this COVID-19 virus. I pity them because they cannot go out, they cannot study well, they cannot play with other kids because of many restrictions. Their growing up is not normal anymore. With this, the greatest gift we can give to our children is our precious time, love, and attention. Let us spend time playing, studying, working, eating, praying with them, and not only with the gadgets. Let us make the most of it and don't waste time. Be creative, be productive, be resourceful, and most especially, bring them to Jesus. As adult Christians, it is our duty and responsibility to bring them to Jesus. Let us inspire them, motivate them, and encourage them to be children of God by our words, thoughts, and actions. Together, may we give our children the roots to grow and the wings to fly despite the pandemic. The best way to make children good is to make them happy and positive always. The best way to make children good is to make them happy and positive always. As a reminder to all of us, let us put our right hand in our heart and repeat after me with a short and simple mantra. I will I never, never hinder, hinder the, the children, children and young, and young from, from coming, coming to, to Jesus. Jesus. I will be an instrument and model in following Jesus. And, and I will, I will never, never lose the, child the childlike like attitude, attitude within, within me. me. Amen. Amen. With confidence, we come and present our needs to God our Father who loves all his children. Let your hand be upon us, Lord. Let your hand be upon us, O Lord. That the church of the homes may be built on unselfish love and that families may know and understand the depth of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your hand be upon us, O Lord that married couples may be sensitive to each other's needs and find true happiness in their lives together. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your hand be, be upon, upon us, O Lord. Lord. That parents may bless their children with attention, caring, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your, Let hand, your hand be, be upon, upon us, us, O Lord. Lord that children and those who are considered weak in our society may be supported by those who have more in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your hand, hand be, be upon, upon us, us Lord. O Lord. That eternal peace may be granted upon those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your hand be, be upon, upon us, Lord. O Lord. In silence, we pray for other intentions.
Father, your kingdom belongs to little children. Hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We present our oblations to you, O Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of Saint Maximilian Kolbe to offer our life to you, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to God, to Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim.
Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God, the lover of children. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Sino kayang ulo? 
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that Saint Maximilian Kolbe received from his holy banquet to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go and have a welcoming heart to the children. Thanks be to God. Oh, 